This is episode number 212 of the Middle Country Public Library podcast. Hello and welcome. I'm Sal DiVincenzo here in the studio with my fabulous colleague, Sarah Fade. Hello. And Nicole Rambo. Hello. And welcome to March 2022. The second anniversary <laughs> of the COVID pandemic. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yes. And it I feels feel, like it's been forever, though. Yeah. yeah. But I do feel like we're coming out of the tunnel now. Yeah. You know, they used to say, oh, I could see the light of the, yeah. at the end of the tunnel. I think yeah. we're, this is it. We're moving out. Yeah. Yeah. Recently, I had to go back through um, our YouTube videos, like the story times and stuff, because the publishers have like their rules and regulations on being able right. to do story times and you know, blah, blah, blah. And it was just funny to see like everyone like at home. Like I would, I was like, oh yeah, I remember that one. Like, and everyone likes doing story times in their houses, and all of us just tr- scrambling to figure out like what to do and like how to do it and stuff. Mm-hmm. It was like crazy. I'm like, oh yeah, I edited that one on like, yeah. my new computer. That was fun. And then there was like all these different things. It was like really wild to go back and exactly. see everything that we did. I'm like, we did a lot. Oh, like we, so at MCPL home and stuff. stepped up. Let yeah. me tell you. Mm-hmm. We went from just posting, like, you know, a couple of things about yeah. uh, Makerspace, a couple mm. of things about uh, Island Idol, to literally, like, two, three a day. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah. And we still do. Now, now we're good. Now we're What a great segue, roll. Nicole, to say to hit the like button. <laughs> <laughs> and subscribe. We want to get 1,000 subscriptions by the end of the summer. Yes. By oh. August 31st. Oh, no, there, we're, wow. we're there okay. was something else. This, this is good. <laughs> this is good content. Um, yeah. There was something else, and then I forgot what it was. Oh. So never mind. Keep going. <laughs> oh, it was there was, I was yeah. watching. So, no, I was watching. A, <laughs> I could tell you all the surrounding context. I was watching a YouTube video and they did something, and I was like, "Oh, that's a good point. Mm-hmm. We yeah. should say that on ours." Was it like this? <sighs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and then uh, now here we are. Okay. And I don't remember it. So maybe next week, guys. That's why you have to keep listening That's to right, see yes. if I remember what I was going to say. <laughs> this is yes, or by the end of the show. Perhaps. Oh, That's perhaps. Okay. Great. <laughs> oh boy. So let's let's jump right into our segments. Uh, Sarah, why don't you go first? Okay. So um, one little uh, fun thing that we do here, mm-hmm. uh, you know, ups, you know, with employees, is we have a little Survivor pool. Cool. So for fans that watch the TV show Survivor, mm-hmm. you know, you get to pick contestants and see who is the ultimate Survivor, right? So there is a new season. A new, well, I don't even want to call it season, but there's a new round coming up okay. uh, starting March 9th. So, you know, we got our little picks and everything and like that. So I thought, oh, let's quiz how we'll do if we are in a survival Ooh, situation. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And let me just tell you guys, I will die. You die. Okay. <laughs> good, good. You know, I okay. took this quiz and yeah. I did not do very well. Yeah. I was like, oh, I'll ace this. Yeah. <laughs> no. Okay, ready? Yeah. What is the number one thing you need to survive in the wilderness, right? Mm-hmm. Heat, shelter, food, or water. The number one thing. Shelter. I'm going to say uh, water. Okay. Sal will survive. Damn. Nicole will perish. <laughs> okay. Dead. The average you Dead need. Dead in my shelter. Cannot survive. <laughs> yeah, you'll be warm yeah, now. Yeah. Just it's starve. Like, this is comfortable. Just dehydrated. <laughs> yeah. um, okay. So you can't go three days without water, but you can go right. several weeks without food. Okay. If you're the only survivor of a plane crash mm-hmm. and you're mm-hmm. trapped on an island, mm-hmm. just you and yourself, mm-hmm. what should you do? Build a raft from the logs. Mm-hmm. Search the island for food. Mm-hmm. Take survival and medical equipment and um, set up a camp nearby. Mm-hmm. Get away from the scene as fast as possible in case the plane explodes. Oh, I, I have to think that the plane's probably exploded at this point if you're like stuck on an island. I don't know. If it's an option, I'd say let's get away first and then sort that out. <laughs> All right, so you're going to get away. I'm yeah. going to... Um... But you want to get the medical supplies for it. Well, I mean, you're going to be searching for medical supplies when the plane blows up. I don't know. Can, can, we, <laughs> can we hear those again just one more time? Build a raft from the fallen logs. No, I'm not doing that. No. Search the island for food. Okay. Take mm-hmm. survival medical equipment and set up a camp nearby. Okay. Get away from the scene as fast as possible in case the plane explodes. I'm going to do three... Number three. All right, I'm going to get away from the plane. Sal lives in Nicole Dice. Oh, my God. That's not fair. This shouldn't be an option. The option ins- like kind of insinuates should, that it's still exploding. We should do like a like a video, like a YouTube video of like these different situations yeah. where Nicole's like running away. Sal, you better get away. I'm like, oh, I'm well, okay. If I, well, if I knew the plane wasn't going to explode, then I would do what Sal's doing. You see me like going through the galley. Well, getting, well like, that's a the spike. thing. You're alone. So it's not like you can like just spy on, you know. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so ready? Which water source is the cleanest? Ooh. I got this wrong. Right. Lake, spring, river, or pond? The cleanest? Yeah. A spring. I'm going to say spring. Oh, you guys are both right. I said river. I'm like, oh, it's flowing. Oh. 
No. <laughs> springs are the cleanest water source, giving you the Poland sm- Spring. That's right. Yeah. <laughs> Duh. It's yes. right in the name, Sarah. Yes. This is like Rolling Rock. Is this a beer? It's rolling. Okay. <laughs> we know. Uh, we know what Sarah's doing during the playground. Yeah. Okay, right. Those little liquor bottles. Yeah, I know. She's going right to the little concession. Uh, what should you never do if you can't find fresh water? Oh, okay. Collect and drink rain water. Mm-hmm. Collect and drink salt water. Mm-hmm. Collect and drink morning dew. Mm-hmm. All of these salt water. Yes, yeah, it's salt water. Very good. Yeah. You should never drink salt water. It may look quenching, but will only dehydrate you. Yeah. Like, why am I so thirsty? Yeah. yeah. I'm drinking. <laughs> I'm going to drink some more. Yeah. Okay. How do you purify an unclean water source? Uh. Leave it in the sun, mm-hmm. boil it, use your clothing or tight mesh material to strain it, or all of them. All of them. Yeah, I could do all of them, yeah. Mm-hmm. Should uh. boil all unclean water to make it safe to drink. But you could do the other stuff. Didn't you watch yeah, Voyage of the Mimi? But it doesn't purify it. It just gets rid of like, oh, the junk. Okay, yeah, okay, okay. yeah. Because there's some places where they say take water, put it in a um, in a like a plastic bottle, mm-hmm. and then leave that out in the yeah. sun, and it'll kind of like. Yeah. I think it'll like help it, but it mm-hmm. won't. Right, be right. as good. I won't give you the options for these because I feel like you know this. Okay. Mm-hmm. In general, where does the sun rise and set? <laughs> I mean, there's only four options. Rises in, in the general. It east. Yeah, and rises in the, the west. east, sets in the west. Is that you say? Yeah. Right? Yeah. That, that is not confident, but yes, yes you're correct. Yes. Yeah, I feel like that's. I, mean, I don't know where I am. If you put me outside, like, I wouldn't know which way is what, but I know that. Mm. Yeah. But it also depends on the season. In the winter, it will rise further to the south. In the summer, yeah. it will rise further to the north. Depends in upon where you are, though. Yeah. If you're in the northern hemisphere, yes. If you're yeah. in the southern hemisphere, it's the other way around. Oh. Oh. What should you do if you or someone you know is stung by a jellyfish? Ouch. Ice it, soak it in hot water, pee on it, or rinse it with cold water. So is the I peeing think, thing real? I think the I think the peeing thing is kind of like a silly thing. Yeah. Uh, I'm gonna say say those again. Ice it, mm-hmm. hot water, mm-hmm. pee on it, mm-hmm. cold water. Well, like your pee has some kind of like whatever in it that like is supposed to like you know counter the effect. Ammonia. Ammonia. Okay. <laughs> um, I don't know. I'll put it in cold water. Yeah, I'm gonna put it in cold water. <laughs> Uh, soak the infected area in the hottest hot water, water oh, you can hot stand. Water. All right. Well, cool. Okay. Yeah. okay. Which, well, at least we're not peeing on ourselves. Right. <laughs> yeah. I'm glad you guys didn't pick that. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Which items should you include in your survival kit? This is kind of easy. Waterproof and windproof matches, bottle of fresh water, first aid kit, or all the above. All the above. above. Correct. Yeah. 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 Okay, I didn't know this. After an earthquake, uh. communicating with an outside world or receiving help may be impossible. Mm-hmm. How long should you be prepared to survive on your own? One week, three days, two weeks, or a month. I'd say a month, right? Yeah. Let's be careful there. Yeah. That's what I would think. Yeah. Two, two weeks. weeks. Two weeks. Yeah. Oh, they say about two weeks. You should be prepared for two weeks. That's when they or stop looking. Earthquake. That's yeah. when they stop looking I for think, you. I think so. <laughs> <laughs> How many blasts, whether it's a gun or flare gun or even a whistle, is the universal sign for distress? Five, two, three, or one? Three. With, I think it's one. Before you said a flare? Or a gun or a whistle. Three. And, like any audible. I'm going to say three. That's if you're going astern. I'm going to say one. Five. <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> Final answers. One. Five. Three. You were right. Oh, the I was first. right the first. Sal. <laughs> <laughs> They're confident. Oh. That's if you're going astern. <laughs> <laughs> I would think so any, I, it couldn't. One because one is accidental. It has to be more than one because then it's like you're doing this on purpose. Like anyone could shoot something once on an accident, but if they're doing it repetitively, then something should be going on. I think if you see a flare, no matter what, yeah, but you could accidentally shoot a flare. I'm not saying not go for it, Up but the, the universal sky. sign, universal, the universal sign. So you have to. So you said three. Yeah. So you're 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 launching three <laughs> fair, flares. It's not that easy. You have to reload the flare. It's one. Turn. But you're you you you're doing it because you're stressed out. Mm-hmm. It's like if there's a situation happening, you're you're loading that flare again. All right. You guys did about the same as me, so well, actually, yeah. Sally, I think you did better. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Oh, I'm dead. I'm already yeah. dead. <laughs> yeah, I think it would be like Nicole dies, and then you and I are like, uh oh, and then I go, and it sounds like finally I'm alone. Unless I have a flare, three of them, yes. and then I'm living. I live with both of you. You're like, bye. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so um. If you did not do as well as you would have liked, we do have a lot of survival. We have a lot of survival <laughs> books in the library, actually. A lot in J. 
Okay, good. Really? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And adult, yeah. Well, there's the whole I Survive series, which yeah. is not, yeah. it's kind of the same, but not really, but it's a very popular series. Yeah. So, yeah. So just some of the three books in adult, but the call numbers will be the same right. across, With, you know. Yeah. So the call number is usually 613.69, but one one book we have is called Stay Alive, Survival Skills You Need by John McCann. Okay. Mm. And it explains how to think like a survivor. Discuss solutions for surviving emergencies during sport, adventures, and travel, mm. and explores various skill categories, including water, shelter, signaling, mm-hmm. first aid, and navigation. Then we have Bushcraft First Aid, a field guide to wilderness emergency care. So it's more first aid by Dave Canterbury. Then we have the SAS Survival Handbook, mm. How to Survive in the Wild in Any Climate, on Land, or at Sea, by John Lofty Wiseman. And that um, is very lengthy and, and uh, you know... Special Air Service is what SAS stands for. Mm-hmm. Mm. So that's really, cool. really want to know. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Do you ever read Hatchet? Remember that book by Gary Balson? Hatchet? No. no. You don't have to read that in school? You know, I feel like, I don't know what school I went to, but I feel like a lot of these <laughs> things are like, didn't you have to read that? I'm like, I don't think so. Uh, <laughs> it was about like a kid who, I don't remember how he gets there. It might have been a plane crash. And then he's like surviving. It was a good, I liked that book. I remember. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, I would not do well. Yeah. I mean, even like you hear about, like, even lately, the stories about like toddlers that get lost and they survive two weeks in the Texas yeah. wilderness. I'm like, I would not survive at all. Yeah. And these are three year olds. <laughs> oh, I'm sure you would. You'd get to a certain point, right? I yeah. Mean, you're not like thriving, you're surviving. Yeah, exactly. You know what I mean? There's like a difference. Yeah, I'd be languishing. Imagine if you were thriving, though. You're like, wait, hold on. This is where I'm, I'm meant to be. Yeah, I'm living my best life. <laughs> Do not catch me. Yeah. I mean, save me. <laughs> so, speaking of Survivor, can you believe it's 22 years since the show premiered? Wow. Yeah, it's a 42nd series or Round season eight. or whatever how you want to yeah because they sometimes do two and they one. do two yeah, yeah, yeah. that's why it's so right. yeah who was the first one richard richard hatch was he the first one or was he the most one of the most popular ones there are a few people that just people just loved yeah i really liked when they did the villains and the i don't know people were like who's a villain who's a hero mm. but there was this one guy who was just awful he was just awful and he was great because <laughs> he was just like oh my god would you want to go on that show no i, oh, I would okay. that would not be a good headspace for me yeah because yeah, yeah. you'd have to like be You'd have to survive, Nicole. Yeah. <laughs> and then play, like, games, and then, like, it was, like mental games the and mental physical games. games. Yeah, yeah. And then, like, the the whole, like, clicks and things. Yeah. I'm just... I'm the being, way they edit you, I'd just be nervous the whole time they'd edit me to look, like, worse than I was. To look I would have man. to go to, like, acting school beforehand and yeah. be like, I try my... I don't have a good poker face, as you guys know. Yeah. And I'd have to be, like, Stone Cold Sarah. Yeah. Like, Stone Cold Sarah. That's your new... Uh, would you be ruthless? Like, would you... No, I wouldn't be able to do it. I would yeah. just sit in the corner and cry, probably. Yeah. <laughs> Self-soothe and be like, whatever you guys want. Yeah. The challenge today is the couch challenge. So <laughs> like, yes! Yeah, yeah. <laughs> All right, cool. Yeah. Well, thank you, Sarah. Have you been watching since the beginning, Sarah? I watch on and off. It okay. depends where it is with my schedule and if mm-hmm. I can. And, and sometimes I'm not really feeling the people. Okay. Mm-hmm. And if you don't like the people, right. it's yeah, like, you're not going to watch. Point, yeah, yeah. But sometimes I'm like, oh, all right. Yeah, yeah. great. It's an interesting team. Cool. Thank you, Sarah. Mm-hmm. Nicole, what do you have for us this week? Yeah, so if you're on this island stranded, <laughs> a game that you can, well, you can't play because you probably won't have internet, but if you could <laughs> have internet, it would be Wordle. That'd be a good game. Well, you wouldn't, yeah. I, I think the first thing you do is, is like. play Wordle. No, you'd ask no. for help. I would in the and in the sand. In. I would make five boxes, yeah. and then I would think a word, and then try to forget the word, and then guess the word. So, what is Wordle? Are the... you guys playing Wordle? Yes, I'm yes. playing Wordle. But you, what yeah. is what is Wordle for those who don't know? So, Wordle it's a a word game, mm-hmm. and New York Times just bought it. it was originally it was made by a guy. They who... made it so much harder. Do you think so? Yes, I do. Yeah, they get. I think tough. they started out, but it's it's easing up now a little bit. Not Maybe. Maybe what? they'll do like the crossword thing where Monday's easy. That's what I thought and, like, was going to happen. You're just like, ah. That's what mm-hmm. I thought was going to happen, but I don't know. I don't know what's happening. But so originally it was created by yes. this guy during the pandemic for his wife, I think. Mm-hmm. And then it like blew up recently. And then the New York Times like acquired it. So mm-hmm. now it's like a New York Times uh, game. But it's free. And for I, now. For, well, it's going to stay free because I think people will like riot if it. But yeah, the um, crossword's free. It's a one a day, which is nice. I like that bit because like sometimes you'll like start and you'll come obsessed and you'll like keep, you know what I mean? Mm. Like so, so you get one word a day and it's kind of like hangman really. 
It's like yes, yeah, I would say so. Yeah, Vermin hangman sort yeah, of situation. Yeah. So you get six chances. So off the bat, you type in a five letter word, whatever five letter mm. word you can think of. Now you can Google Everyone this. Everyone has a start word, right? I was gonna say I Everyone didn't has a start word. I used to let the wordle spirit like move me, um, but recently, <laughs> <laughs> recently mm-hmm. I have had a word that I've been using. What's your start using. word? What's my start word? Yeah, people like don't want to share their start word. Like it's a the only reason you wouldn't want to share someone's start word. Or you is like if you send each other no no if you send each other your um, results because you could share so like if I know your start word and you you're like oh I got it in five and you sent it to me before I did it I would know the word that you started with uh, do you know what I'm saying would you remember my start word yes but I don't share <laughs> oh okay well that's fine if you're not sharing then whatever but. you don't share I know that so what's your start word I think it's break uh, with break it doesn't matter it's all the same letters but which how do you spell it B R E A E A K K yeah okay because it's got the R uh-huh. and the E and the A okay, yeah mine's train mine's okay. stare stare okay. oh stare's good stare, too that's yeah, a good yeah, one yeah. wait which stare S T A R E yeah 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 because yeah, like, you, you have, have to have do the, the R. The I feel like the R, R is like yeah because yeah. I was like okay R S T L N E we've mm-hmm. all watched Wheel of Fortune yeah. right mm-hmm. so those are the letters that you pick right. from and then yeah so I've been so I'll I have a couple words but yeah yeah. Yeah, so, right, so you get six chances. So you type out your starter word, whatever it might be. And then on the bottom of it has the keyboard laid mm. out for you. So once the um, – so you type in your first letter and then all the, like, Vanna White, right, all the letters turn around. If it stays gray, then that letter is not in the final word, right? Mm. And then if it's, like, a yellow – Well, no, there's, like, an orange. Yellow, yellowish is – it's yeah. an out of order. Yeah, so that yeah. letter is in the word, but it's not in that spot that you have mm-hmm. it in currently. Mm-hmm. And then if it's green, then that letter is right where it's supposed to be. Yes. So now you go into your next chance, and then you see the letters that you have left to pick from. That's right. On the keyboard because yes, yeah. they'll like gray out if mm-hmm. you know you've used it and it's not there. So then you go down the line and you try to guess the word of the day mm-hmm. um, using that. But what I feel like what New York Times is, has been doing more is this double letter situation, <laughs> which I. And not a fan of personally. I don't. Well, I think one more was vivid. I'm like vivid. <gasps> that vivid. one took me nine it. hours to get. I got it. But like, if you, there's only six, right? Six. Yes, yeah, you get six, six chances. Choices, six yeah. chances, right? Yes. So at the fifth, because it took me all six. At the mm-hmm. fifth one, I was sweating. I was like, oh, I was like, and oh. then I was, I was like, could it be? Yeah. Two V's and two I's. Yeah. So yeah. What? So that all happens because if it's double letters, it that there's no indication that it's double letters anywhere. No. You'll no, never no. know that. So then you have to kind of play that, like take that chance. Mm-hmm. You know, like I get, like you have to look and see. There's no other option. It has to be like LL at the end. It has to be two E's in there, or, you know, two O's or whatever the case may be. So that I hate that double letter stuff. Mm. And I think the New York Times is doing it more than the original one did. Yeah. So that's the game. It's very addicting. You can play on. Do you play on hard mode? Do you default play on? I think a lot of people default play on hard mode. Mm. I don't know whatever there's, it is. There's a hard mode option, and that forces you to use the letters that are in the word. Oh wow! Which I think a lot of people do automatically. Or wouldn't yeah. you use the letter in the word? Because you want, like, say you want to eliminate other letters. So you get the first word, you have oh. like two, and then you see the letters that are left, so you pick a whole other word. Oh, I, see, oh, I yeah. don't do that. Yeah, me all. either. So yeah. Um, but so you can play in hard mode, which forces you to do that if you want. So yeah, so I think it's fun. A lot of people enjoy it. And now if this is like more for adults, right? The words are, you know, they're, they range, I would say, mm-hmm. you know, um, all over. But if you want to get your kids into this, there's a uh, Wordle game. So this one's like, what? I don't even know what that website is it's like wordle.new york times or something like that yeah we'll put yeah. it in the show yeah notes. um so but there's wordlegame.org so these words are simpler so it's mm-hmm. like for uh, kids and then there's spelly s-p-e-l-l-i-e game.com this is even easier so this is like a four-letter word you can mm-hmm. play on easy medium hard mm-hmm. so there's like a four-letter word mm-hmm. it looks a little bit more kid friendly so there's some option for kids and then if you're starting you know spelling and reading with your little ones and the parents collection the 372.632 area is like spelling and then we have like 374 is reading so all in that area mm. will be the same um stuff in our erc we have phonics boxes c and spells bob's books then um what are bob's books 
they're kind of like hooked on phonics. Oh. Hooked on phonics, similar like sight words, like early mm-hmm. reading. Then we have our whole easy reader section. Mm-hmm. So this is again like a couple words, two to three words, like rhyming, like very beginner readers. And then we have our wonder books, which you know read out loud and yes. you can read along, which is really nice. Um, so those are all things we have in the library. And then on our data pieces, like online, we have the L O T E online for kids. This is over forty different languages. Um, they read like they have the picture, you know, the book on the screen, and then it reads along with you. Weston Woods Plus, same thing. It has the book. This, these books are like animated, mm-hmm. and you could um, pick the with or without the read along. And then book flicks, tumble books, all the same idea. So read alongs, and then so you know, anytime you hear like someone has a big vocabulary, it's usually because they read a lot. Like mm-hmm. reading will you know just increase your vocabulary. So as you're playing these wordle mm-hmm. games and stuff like that, the way to get better at them is probably to read more. Mm-hmm. Then you have a bigger vocabulary, and then you can get some more words, mm-hmm. so on and so forth. So those are some resources that we have here if you want to start playing wordle cool. with your kids. Oh, well, that's fun. Nice. Thank you, Nicole. Yep. I was uh, we were doing the shift change, and uh, our colleague Lucas mm-hmm. asked me if I played wordle, uh-huh. and I said yes. Mm-hmm. He said, "Have you tried wordle?" I'm like, what is that? Yeah. Have yeah. you heard of this? No. World? I've heard of math math something. So it's W O R L D L E. Okay. So it's World uh-huh. L E. Uh-huh. And when you if you do like a Google search, uh-huh. it's gonna come up, it's gonna say, Do you mean Wordle? And you say no, yeah. Worldle. Uh-huh. <laughs> and instead this is pretty wild. So you have six choices again. Mm. And instead of a word, it's an outline of a country. Mm. Or a territory. Okay. Yeah. And you have to guess it. And you have six choices. And if you get it wrong, mm-hmm. instead of it telling you what letters, it'll tell you what letters you got right, but it will also tell you how far away you are from the actual country or territory. Oh, oh. that's funny. So it'll say you that are, you, you are, you know, 3,000 <laughs> miles southeast. Uh huh. It's, you know, the answer is 3,000 miles southeast from where you thought huh. it was going to oh, be. Oh, that's funny. Yeah. That's cute. Yeah, it's pretty neat. There's also a swerdle. This is for our 18 oh, no. and over <laughs> listeners. A swerdle and a loodle. Like L E W D. Loot. Oh, oh loodle. Again, 18 and over. That'd be fun. Wow, yeah. Yeah, so those do. Like, but that's like very. Um, subjective kind of silly, on what yeah. you think a yeah. lewd word is exactly. or a square yeah. word is. And also is. that's also very limited. The, yes. The number of letters. Yeah. yeah. Well, thank you so much, uh, oh. Sarah Nicole, for uh, this week's episode. And uh, again, click the like button and click subscribe because mm-hmm. we would like to uh, once again get Maybe up to a thousand. Maybe it was that, like they said, go also follow us on Instagram. Oh, yeah. Well, we don't have an Instagram, so we need to get one. Well, you can follow the library's Instagram. You can follow the library's Instagram, yes. We need our own Instagram. Eventually, we should get an Instagram. You think so? Yeah. A what? You know, a, a <laughs> podcast a podcast of us doing silly stuff. <laughs> what? We have a library. We'll It'll just be library. a rotation of our faces. Yes. <laughs> yes. Just our wordle guesses of yes. the day. <laughs> Me languishing in the forest. Yes, exactly, yes. <laughs> Huh. I like that idea, actually. We have some future Me things coming dead up. dead on a beach in a hut. <laughs> yes, beautiful hut, well-appointed. Yeah. No water in Yes, sight. exactly, yes. <laughs> Very good. Uh, yeah, so visit our website, mcplpodcast.com, for older episodes and our show notes. And if you'd like to email us, uh, we'd love to hear from you. It's podcast at mcplibrary.org. And, of course, you can all, always comment uh, below on YouTube or comment on our Podbean site as well. So for Sarah Fade and Nicole Rambo, I'm Sal DiVincenzo. We'll see you on the next show.
do not rhyme, right? No, they don't. So how do you rhyme?